an option as some of these BB shots as well, but you will need beads, about 10 mil beads, and inline weights, about one ounce for that. Float, which is a 10 inch, plus your power gum as well, secure everything together. Snood line, and we're actually going to be putting this float rig on the main line. You'll need a little swivel as well, this is a 100 pound swivel, quite small. Uh, top of the float there, um, this is quite a cheap float, and you've got these little end bits. I tend to cut those off and just check that there's nothing there for the line to snag on because that will be running through the middle of the float. So start by bringing your main line off the reel. It will go onto the bead, through the bead, and then and then it's going to go through the top of the float, which is a red bit here. That's a bit you'll see. And then push that line through. So already running through a bead, then through the float. And uh, hopefully it will come out the other side. And then you want to put a bead on the line as it comes out the other side. Then you're going to put the weight on the other end. And the weight balances the float so that it sits upright in the water. So each float will have its ideal weight. Um, now I know that this one here, this is about an ounce weight, is perfect for the float. And we're going to put that onto the main line. So you need to make sure before you put a float and a lead on that it keeps that float in exactly the right position which will be upright in the water not dragged along on its side or something like that um, and obviously not dragging the float under so that goes through the inline float and then just tie on the swivel as we've done there um, normally this would obviously be lighter main line I'm just using this so you can see it a bit better so coming through the other end then it's gone through the float bead and a weight now those need clamping in and keeping in position and the good thing about this power gum is that it can, you can move it so you've got the variety on where you put the float along the main line obviously for deeper water and what have you so you could put a bead in actually between that lead and the swivel uh, just to stop the weight sort of abrading on the the line there but I'm going to put power gum either side of the weight and then either side of that bead as well but you do sometimes have a problem if you put power gum in between the bead and the end of the float there that the power gum gets stuck up the float but you certainly need to have power gum in there as well so let's put that power gum on you could obviously use crimps here and there'll be another method that I'm going to show you in the next video uh, but for now that power gum is quite good and if you've pulled it nice and tight those beads can move up and down and put them where you want but they will hold the float in place just clip the end of the power gum doesn't really matter how neat that bit is so depending on the hole that goes through that inline weight that power gum is perfect just to keep it in there and that's it really I see some people run the line through it and come back round again, but then you're weakening your main line there. That way keeps things nice and simple. And same again to trap the bead. The other good thing about power gum is you can put it on after you've assembled the rig or any sort of rig you're doing. So you don't have to take everything off if you invariably get it wrong, like I do. Oh. Uh, the only other thing you're going to need here is going to be this extra bit of power gum. You get quite good at tying this power gum after you've done it quite a few times. It means that the float can be pulled and pushed with your hands, but once it's in the water it doesn't overcome uh, the pressure. So you're left with this swivel at the end and that's for your snood. So you can carry a few different snoods with different size line and stuff like that. I tend to use a 15, 20 pound snood line on this. This is amnesia, I'm using the black one here. Clear is probably better, black just to show you in a video. And then again, depending on the depth you're fishing over, usually if I'm doing this from the kayak or piers where I don't have to cast too far, I'll take off a good metre and a half, maybe even two metres if it's going to drift around a bit. Of 
course if you have to cast then you can set your distance with the stop knot the top stop knot and that'll be where the float ends up so you can drag everything down to the bottom of the rig and then cast and then the float will find its way up to the stop on the main line I'll tie off your hook things like sand eel baits can be floated here you can use treble hooks with things like live prawns quite a good one for live bait in this but bear in mind the you're going to need to remember the uh, weight of the bait as well if you've got a really heavy bait that might overcome the the float and it'll pull the float down so it's a reasonably good way then of getting you out and out and about float fishing now you can add extra shot into this snood bit of the line not too close to the hook it does tend to put some fish off I think particularly bass but that will drop the bait down a little bit quicker and stop that snood bit um, floating in the in the tide so use that if the tides a bit stronger and if you haven't already got our 15 tips to catch more bass in 2018 ebook then you can get a free copy of that it's in the notes just underneath the video and it would be great as always to have you subscribe to the channel